Hello, welcome to episode 116 of Snug Radio Trotro Lounge. Um, super sunny and warm in the studio this evening. Uh, but we're going to play some retro games, specifically Sega Game Gear retro games. Uh, big thanks to Nutty Cluster, who's just subscribed. The subscribes don't show on the chat, unfortunately, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Have I turned the chat off? No, surely not. Nope, still there. I don't know why. But thank you for subscribing. 25 months. Wow. Wow. Um, if you want to be like Nutty Cluster and uh, subscribe, then feel free. You can uh, subscribe with cash. Or... Um, Use your Amazon Prime membership. It's, uh, that's what I do. Okay, so I can't play games here, can I? Oh, I should. I should before we begin. I should show you this. It's finally arrived. I've not managed to do a lot with it. I've been loading, like updating it and charging it. But this is the Rabbit R One. The um, portable AI device so I can't think of anything serious that I want to do with it at the moment but you know we'll start playing with it and we'll see what happens that's what she said so what were we doing yes we were moving to now I'm not sure I feel that the uh, the game gear has a square ish screen so it's possible we might be moving over to a different um, screen, but let's boop across to this one first. Whoop, there we go. So that's the Game Gear. The actual console this time. Um, and it does look, it looks kind of, it might fit in here. The other thing we're doing after our issues with sound is we're gonna try just opening one game at once because I think since um, the software that I use from Rogue Amoeba has updated, um, I don't think it behaves itself very well. No, no, I don't. So I'm going to start one game at a time and see if the audio comes through. So we're going to start with our first game. Let's see if we're getting any audio first. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, oh, it's very square. Do you know what? I might... I know it's a bit sacrilegious to have a Game Gear, Sega Game Gear in a Nintendo screen, but I think this might be better. Okay, what have we got marquee-wise? Why have we... Oh, that's massive, isn't it? Okay, that'll do for now. If it gets in the way, we can move it. Um, So, so apologise if, <laughs> if you've come to this video because you've seen the Game Boy um the Game Boy overlay, then I apologize. Because we're doing Game Gear. And we're starting with Arliel Crystal Densetsu. Because let's start off easy, that's what I say. Let's not have a troublesome game that's gonna be probably Japanese. So let me make the screen bigger on here first, so I can see what we're doing. You won't believe how small it is on the screen. Smaller than the one you're looking at. Of course, of course. It's called Crystal Densetsu. Why, why would I have thought it would be? Well, the, the the good news is that we've got um, the good news is we've got nine games, so you know if we um, <laughs> what am I doing? If we get stuck with crap games, I'm not saying this is crap, I just you know you know what it's like with Japanese games. Do 
no, I won't. I wonder. I wonder if this might be a perfect opportunity. I'm only going to do it once. If it doesn't work first time, I'm not doing it. Can you translate this? Mushroom sander. Okay. Perhaps needs a little work. Um, let's go with mushroom sander then. Is that perhaps a weapon? I mean, look, it. Kill with it. Kill. Kill. <sighs> right. Unplayable. I wonder. I wonder. Do I have. Because I am curious. Because I, I have downloaded a lot of translations and things like that. So let's just have a quick look at our... Oh, it's all experiments tonight, isn't it? Let's go to our Sega Game Gear folder. And we'll have a quick look and see... We've got a game... Uh, uh, we've got Game Gear translations directory. But... But... Ariel... Ariel... Ariel is not one of them. But I do notice some of the other games which appear to be in English do have an English translation in here. Which really, really worries me for the rest of the games, to be honest with you. Um, Aliel in that folder? Nope, it's not even in the hacks folder. Uh, so, okay, we'll leave that folder open though because you never know. So, for now... It's bye-bye to Aliel Crystal Densetsu. And we're going to open our next game. And it's called Buster Ball. Oh, I'm going to have to change that each time. Yay. There we go, Buster Ball. Now, it should be in the right place. Let's see if this is uh, easy to understand or needs a... Uh... It doesn't need translating though, does it? No, look at all that. Uh, let's do open mud. What is it? What are we playing? Oh, did I press backwards? Oh, that's weird, they're in the opposite opposite place. Nasda. Alright. Oh, it's a, it's a two player game. Or can I make the computer play it? Right, these seem to be car related. I wonder if this is some sort of this racing <sighs> why is it called buster ball if it's oh what's going on here what the actual effie jeff It's a bit frenetic, isn't it? So it travels. Oh, OK. 
can't get it. Super slow, these these little fellas. I guess it's uh, about passing and shit. Oh no, why did I fire it that way? Stupid. Wow. Where's my guys? So yeah, that's a mistake. Once I've let him get it, it's difficult for me to get it back. I'm passing it the wrong way. See, the problem is, I get my eye on one guy, and then the cursor changes. So they go to right. So there's some sort of damage. Then when they go to sleep, wow, is that going all the way to the other end? On the F. See, that bounced right into my hand, so I did it not let me have it. It's like, is there an easy mode? Why did I die? Is it, uh, is it if you get the ball and you keep hold the ball too long? God, it's got to go. Oh no. 
bit back to them. Oh, why am I running slow? They are running slow. Trounced, but I got three points. Not sure I can play another another round of that though. It's all right, but we've all got a whole bunch of other games to have a look at. Can always revisit it if you. Uh, Drop me a line and let me know. Mention it in the comments. Okay. We're moving on now to a game called Chakan. Chakakan? No, nope, not Chakakan. She's like Beetlejuice if you say her name three times. Oh, Chakan. Chicken. Oh, Sega of America. Right, okay. Would suggest it's not going to be in Japanese. Normally I would ask if... Um, if the audio's working, or, or loud enough, or too loud, or something, but... The person I'd normally ask is having problems with their um, buffering. They, they always have problems with the buffering, right? but it's beside the point. So let's just hope. Let's just hope. Okay. Oh, we might have played something like this. Well, no, that's silly. We've definitely played something like it, but I wonder if we've played this on the Mega Drive? Weird. I thought I would have found something to kill before that. Oh no. Probably didn't want to fall down there. Run away, run away, run further. I don't think I've got the weapons to be killing that. Oh no. Chuck a can, chuck a can. I have got the weapons to kill it. Now, how do I get out of here? Because... There doesn't seem to be a way out. Is, am I missing something? I'm checking the floor and I'm checking the ceiling. So is there a way through? Now the, the walls... No, now look, you see. There's a ledge there. Do we do that... Um... Oh, so we've got a double jump. Ah! Gotcha. Oh. Piss off. Oh no, I'm not going to have to... It's going to set forever if I have to do this. Oh, 
he says as he kills it. Dead. <sighs> so, is it a... Oh, what do you reckon? Do we just jump off leap of faith type jobby? Oh. Okay. So do you reckon the green thing alerts us as well? I don't mean the green goop. the ferryman so it'll continue or oh. this seems to be the way the only way to go though is there another way is there something else oh there's something on there oh four do we want to do four if we die doing two or whatever that number was yeah that's a shit weapon all things considered I feel like I might die if I try and fight them but I'm gonna die if I keep trying to escape them too to jump through. Get off. Who did I die? Oh no. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> F in L. That skeleton was super hardcore. Well, that's five, so we're going the wrong direction. We want to start early on, don't we? We don't want to start there. Three. Where's two? Oh, I'm just walking in the... Walking in the air. All right, well, this is number one, isn't it? It's never good when that happens. Oh, I've killed one of you. Whoa. I mean, spoiler alert, it's not going on my favourites list. So we start, yeah, we started with two then. Perhaps we didn't lose as, lose as much life this time fighting it. Thank you. 
No, for fuck's sake. Uh... Chakan! Chakan! Dear oh dear. Um, so, as, as we're currently playing, we're giving them about eight or nine minutes each. So, we need to find one that we're more um, invested in. Ah. You want to be able to see it, don't you? I know, we do it a lot. Right, this is a game called Chicago Syndicate. TM. Press start to clean up Chicago. Should we do some training? Should we have a look? Let's have a look at the options first. No, it's that button. Where's, which button is it? Oh. Sounds on and you can test your menus. Let's do some training. Let's see what the game is. Okay. Why my button's not doing anything? Hello, baby. Why is he not facing me? Oh, it looks like you might have to put the direct... Right, so you might have to hold the button down and push in a direction. All right. It says press start to exit and I was pressing start. Press buttons, oh, press buttons, one, two, and start to exit. Wow, that's a lot of buttons to press to just get out of training. Oh, that's harsh, isn't it? Oh, uh oh. So why do we have? Oh, we've got we've got things to look at. I thought it was just a walk left to right, punching things. How do we get out of this? We press start. All right. So what's that? All right. It's gonna be a lot of crap that we don't need to look at. get up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Michael Jackson like, is it? You mean a bit moonwalkery? And the music's not irritating at all. No, not in the least. Sometimes I can do a really big jump, and other times I can't. Can I hit her from there? Oh, I can. I keep forgetting I need to point the direction that I want to punch. I did. Uh. That's it, is it? One game. One game. <sighs> Should we go to a different area? Let's try Little Village. Little Village. Throwing rubbish, pick your rubbish up. some health or something, couldn't I really?
I use the knife. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Chicago Syndicate. All right, our next game then. Following on in alphabetical order, it is Coca Cola Kid. Oh, you even got a Sega. Suspect this has probably been sponsored by Coca Cola. Oh, right. One secondo. Because in the Game Gear translations, I did see an English. one so let's have another look uh, as, a, as a test actually for something that's on the wheel called lost in translation where we play translations of Japanese games and um, we're gonna do that live a live um, decision here now Okay. English translation of Coca-Cola Kid. Oh, that's not a very good uh, interaction, a work interaction. Cokey? Oh, it's even worse, teacher of child interaction. What's going on? Oh no, no, the boss. Right, it's not a child. She's a full grown lady teacher is what I'm getting from the story. I want that. No, 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 no. Do we need to go back? Maybe we can't. Oh, whoa, 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 no, no, no. Lots of 
lots of levels, isn't it? Lots of actual physical levels. I mean, I'm invincible. Oh, okay. So we've got different levels, but it is it's a it's a Sonicy type affair where you got to get left to right. Doesn't matter whether you go up, down, left, right. Well, matters if you go left, right. I guess. Skateboard. Can I get up on there? No, I can't. Only if I can do it from. the wall I just slide down it. Oh no. Like something I'm not paying attention to somewhere. Don't have a double jump. I'm stuck. Oh, right, so we've got some sort of... Can't get on that roof though. Oh, 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 no sooner had I said I can't get on the roof. Let me recover. Let me recover first. Oh, you jackass. 
So, do we have any crates or stuff we can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Hey! What did we say about we could... Shite, you bugger. Uh, well, look, that was uh, that was Coca Cola Kid. Um, translated into English. Uh, it didn't need translated, as it turns out. It could have played it perfectly well because um, we didn't need to know the story to understand the game. But it's starting again. Let's do that. Um, so. Let's move on to it. We're getting through these really quick, aren't we? Aren't we? We might have to pick some more. Uh, but for now, we're going to go on to our next game. Our next game is Nazo Puyo. Nazo Puyo. Let's get you the screen. That's old Puyo. There we go. I, I feel this this might be. I think we've played Puyo Puyo. So I'm feeling we probably don't need the translated version. Quest mode. Oh, why? Why write quest in English and quest mode and then give me Japanese? <laughs> so we've got a, a column Z type game. It's, it's like Puyo Puyo, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Hello. Uh... Welcome, all the people that just come in from Zebu. Um, this is the first time I've been raided, uh, so thank you for joining. Um, you, we're we're uh, I'm I'm Math. This is Snug Radio's Retro Lounge, and we're playing Game Gear games that we've not played before on the show. Uh, so. Uh, Thank you, thank you for joining us. A bit flustered now. I'm not uh, not used to getting raided. Not getting any red ones, are we? This is disappointing. So what? Um, what do you stream then, Cebu? get a red one. Why am I not getting a red one? This is uh, irritating. Oh, okay. I've not got around to getting a retro tink yet. I've, um, I've looked at it, but I keep getting sidetracked with all the other stuff. Uh, Nutty Cluster's our moderator. Um, moderator extraordinaire. Merz Merzabov. Hello. Hello, Merzabov. Yes, retro is always fun. Um... And mostly works. Mostly. Right, this is silly. This is just 
that's this is just um, not giving me any red ones. So let's let's do give up. Now let's see if we can work out where we're supposed to. What was what was the idea of that? Or we don't pick quest mode. We do that. Oh, pick whatever that is. Oh no, that's even worse. I wonder, do we have a translation in our translation folders? Oh goodness, we do. Right, okay. Well, in that case, let's um, let's just was it across. Have a quick look. So, 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 right, let's have a, let's get you a screen. Cebu is retro god. Okay. Well, I will we'll, uh, have to remember to have a follow and have a look once I've, um, once I've finished here. Um, right. So, we want, um... That's not the right Nazo Puyo. Uh, 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 there we go. Right. So there's the translation. Let's see what we've got. Oh, so we've got. Nazo or Toko Puyo. Oh, oh, what? What's going on? This isn't the same game. This is, uh, it had the same st starting screen. I, I do, I do, um, I do have a collection. It mostly consoles that that I had. Um, so I've got like, I've got obviously got Atari 2600, uh, Clicker Vision, Mega Drives, um, and then I, because I was a Mega Drive kid or a Sega kid mostly. Uh, so I've got Dreamcast, Saturn. Yeah, all those sorts of ones, and then I bought a, a few bits and pieces um, since then. Um, I've got a lot of different handhelds as well. Um, this this is not this is not the way I expected this one to go. So let's restart it. Yes, mostly Sega. Toko Puro. All right, well, this is more what I expected, but it's um, it's not great. Yeah, all right, Naughty Cluster. I do, I do have a lot of uh, things because I have a, a fondness for arcade machines as well. I do, um, I do have a tiny collection of arcade machines. So can't concentrate on looking, look, dropping blobs while um, while I'm talking. Apparently, Ah. 
Um, no, I don't. I, so, uh, sorry, Seabro, I was concentrating on <laughs> dropping little balls. Um, I haven't listed my c collection anyway, because I'd have to get them all out of boxes and note what I've got. Um, I assume you're talking, are you talking consoles? As that's your um, area of interest, I gather. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've never just got around to it. Obviously, it's easier to um, catalogue the arcade games because um, there's less of them. Oh, all of it, all of it. Oh, um, that would involve work and all. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm in the process of um, trying to uh, get my jukebox fixed so that I can sell it, so that I can get... Um, uh, I've got a, a Star Wars The Arcade game. Um, well, I've actually got two. I've got uh, an upright, which is, is in mint. It's in mint condition. Um, but I've also got a broken cockpit, which I want to get fixed. And that's going to... Uh, so I'm planning on getting rid of the jukebox to fix the cockpit. This round is going to end badly. I hope, I hope you realise this. That is going too fast, Miss. Look what you just said there. Ah, so you've got a couple of arcade boards. Yes. I mean, I've actually got a couple of boards lying around that I, I forget what they are now. I think one of them's Ladybug. Um, back when I had the idea that I was going to make a jammer cabinet and um, put boards in it. Uh, but never got around to it and they just sat in storage for years. So... Like Nutty Cluster said, I'm a bit of a hoarder. So... Getting too fast for me now, this. Ah. Well, at least we got to get a, a, a check it out. We got we got a, an English translation and had a quick look of Nazo Puyo. Uh, so thanks for the follow. Um, you just followed. Sorry, Merzabov, Merzabov. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, it's, yes. So once you get to that sort of number of systems, it is a bit like I've got boxes. In fact, I've got. I think I've got two boxes of Atari Jaguar stuff. And it's like, oh, I just need to sort them out and look at see what I've got. But, yeah. It's a, first world problems, having too many old consoles. Um, but I've gone through a phase of handhelds as well. I've, I mean, I've got, I've got a bunch of handhelds and all sorts that I, I see. I see a new con, like a new, new one. I bought a Steam Deck. A Steam Deck can pretty much play anything that I want, but now I'm looking at an Ambernick and it's like, oh, so. I think my next pro project might be, because uh, I bought one of the new Atari VCSs when they were on Kickstarter. I got two of them. Um, but I'm going to use one of them and put a drive in it and put Batasera on it and still debating whether to put it into a cabinet and make a 
a Batas era arcade cabinet. But yeah, I don't know. Well, that's a good question. Now you see, it feels to me, Cebu, that you you have um, more skill in that regards than I do. I uh, I I have soldered, um, but it was a long time ago, and these RGB mods and stuff like that. The nearest I got was uh, putting the uh, the eight bit do. Wi-Fi kit, uh, wireless controller kit, into an old, an old N64 controller. And I'm very proud of myself that it actually worked because a lot of electronics that I do don't end up working. But there you go, it did work and it was good. <laughs> so uh, let's move on to our next game. Our next game is Pack it in Time. Which we, I, I'm certain we've played before on our Pac-Man episode. Um, but we're going to have a look at it on the Game Gear. I'm em emulated on the Game Gear, obviously. Um, oh, so, let's have a look. Don't think we need to read all that again. I know we've got some new people. I'm not a big one for stories if they go on and on and they scroll really slowly. They get um, buttoned away. Oh, I can't actually move up and down. Am I supposed to not be in the water? So what have we got? We've got a shitty little jump and a, is that a munch? No, I can't seem to... Can I, can I munch that? No, I can't. So I, I'm useless in the water. What's, what's that all about? Uh. I'm, I'm not supposed to go the other way, am I? Oh. Right, okay. Well, I can't swim down. I can't move up. I can only move left and right, and my buttons don't work. So, do the fish... No. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I was always playing better for you. It's not often we have an audience. Uh, right, so... So, you, what are those things down there? Why can't I swim downwards? None of my buttons do anything. It's too early for shoulder buttons on the game gear. But we've got little knobbly things down there. Right. Ah, right, okay. So. We work these things out bit by bit. Down to the right, we can go right to the bottom. But why would you want to? To get out of the way of the fish, maybe. Oh, 
Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that it? Okay. So we've got another tool to use now. Don't quite know what it does, but... Where we're going now. Hmm. <laughs> What's that done? Oh. Okay, so we need to. <sighs> we died then, I guess. Right. Bugger. Can't change. Can't. Oh, yeah, I can now. No account. Oh, weird. <sighs> Think I've trapped myself. None of my buttons are doing anything. And um all I'm getting. Oh, so it's like a puzzle where you, you it gives you the option. Are you sure you want to quit? Because you've screwed up real bad. Let's have another look. At it. Is there another level we can... No, we have to start on this level. Bastard. Uh, at least it didn't start us right back at the beginning, which it normally does. Oh, so they not kill you? I don't know why I'm complaining. <laughs> oh, they don't kill me. Oh, that's terrible. Right, so, do we only get these for a limited amount of time then? Changed, changed my swimming. Okay, so let's move back to swimming. Sixty-eight thousand. That sounds old to me. That. Ah. Oh, okay. Japanese computer. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Don't. Nope. I thought I could. Right, so how, how do I get up there? So, I've got a, um, a tool icon, which suggests I've got some sort of um, skill, but can't change to use it. Why not? Also means I don't have the swim skill. Right, is that any use to me now? I don't think it is, do you? So... Right, so why can we fire things but not shoot anything, if that makes sense? Can't do it when we're in the water. How irritating. In fact, it's irritating enough that um, we might just say buggier. Pac-Man, let's move on. Uh, we're down to our last couple of games for this evening. Um, one of them, I know what it is. I, I, I used to have a Game Gear back in the day. Um, and I know what Columns is because it came packaged with my Game Gear. Uh, but this is Super Columns. Um, won't play it for very long because we've played a Puyo Puyo game so we'll just have a quick crack oh. well we're going to play Endless but it won't be Endless if that makes sense of course it makes sense Right, and this is slightly different than um, Tetris because all you can change is the order of them. I wonder why it's super. remember if this game does um, diagonal lines or not. We'll find out now. Yep. Yep, it does. So that's uh, also slightly different from Tetris. You know, once you've been getting used to Tetris. light ones are. Whether I should be lining them up or... Let's try lining a few up, see what we get. It does a full row. Okay, good to know.
No! Wow, that one came down a bit quick. Some of these colours get away with me now, aren't I? It's hoping to drop one in and have a load disappear all at once. Decided against it at the last minute. So I don't remember the flames in um, in columns. So I'm thinking they're perhaps uh, super columns specific. That'll be my guess. Like I said, it's been a been a few years since I've uh, played columns. Oh, I don't like any of those. Oh, I thought I had a diagonal then. that yeah I didn't want that to come down that quick like that So we're about to see you from then, see you boo, uh, if you're still there, and you don't mind me asking. Come on, I got rid of five all at once there. That's all right, mate. Uh, I was asking where you were from. Are you UK based? Seems seems about the time that UK people would be Finland. Wow. Okay. How cool is that? Good stuff. certainly opened up my demographics tonight.
Yeah. Oh, I wish it stopped dropping them really quick like that. Getting super quick now. Hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's decided it's had enough. Come on, fella. Whoa. Shit, I should have left them on top. Too fast for my tired old brain to keep up. Oh, what were their ones? No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no stop it. It's just the look of the draw of how they're coming out now. That's it. 
That's it. Wow. Super Columns. There you go. A penultimate game on the Sega Game Gear. Uh, and one last game for us to play. Probably won't take an awful long time on this one. Um, I feel I used to have this as a cartridge when I was a kid as well. If you're a Woody Pop fan, then you will have recognised the tune. For it is indeed Woody Pop. Which... And it's Breakout. Oh, he moves really quick. Oh. oh. Oh, no. Don't like the controls on this. They kind of... They've got a bit of a delay on them. Nope. Told you won't be playing this very long. Disappointing. Would have liked to have cleaned the whole screen. Shh. It's not a continue if you're starting right from the start. It's not moving properly. And I know, uh, you, you new guys won't know, but there is the running gag that I blame my controller a lot. But this time, it's true. It's it's delaying for some reason. Um, so, so, I know. Did the games have been fine? I don't know what that is. Uh, that was our last game. Um, what a disappointing finish. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to uh, the wheel. Um, pop. There we go. And where is the wheel, you might say? Well, it's here. Oh, it's tiny. What's going on? Do you know what? It's it's irritating when things do this. I haven't changed this screen. So why is it? Why? Why? Why is it different? Oh, I'll have to work what's, work out what's gone on with it later. I've got no idea why it's doing that. Oh, stupid thing. So, where, where, why? <laughs> why? Oh, um, oh, was that a, was that a GG? Was that gotta go? Um, in which case, if it is, then Cebu, thank you. Thank you um, for raiding in and bringing some new people to have a look at some old games. Um, we're, we're about to find out what we're going to play next week in this weirdly, weirdly windowed um, wheel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so next week, we will be doing... Oh, we spoke about it earlier. Oh, my goodness. Um, we'll be doing Lost in Translation. We'll be playing Japanese games translated into English so that we get to see some of the things that we don't normally see. Um, so, so yes. Well, that's next week. Um, if you want to email us, you can. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's retro at snugradio.co.uk. Uh, that's the website, stuntradio.co.uk. Um, so you can always find us on um, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and, of course, Twitch uh, as Snug Radio. Uh, we um, 
we stream every Monday from seven o'clock. And if you miss it and you want to catch up, then we have got a, a slightly edited version on YouTube, both under Snug Radio. In fact, you can find us everywhere on the internet as Snug Radio. How easy is that? Um, so before I go, uh, I, I think that's everything. Oh, subscribe, like, follow, and all those sorts of things that you need to do. Um, it helps us uh, uh, more than you would expect. And um, you see, uh, super people uh, raid in. How cool is that? Um, also, Nutty Cluster, who um, is moderator extraordinaire, has got a design shop. She's called Inkyspiration on Redbubble. And she does um, lots, of, um, lots of stuff. But if you're a Taskmaster fan, she's doing a lot of Taskmaster related merch at the moment. So it's always worth popping in over there. I uh, also have a design shop. And my design shop is called The Glorious Idiot. And I am on Redbubble and Threadless. Uh, there'll be links wherever you're watching this video at some point. And, um, yeah, check us out there. So, we'll be back uh, at the same time, same place next week. That's Twitch, uh, Monday night at 7 UK time. Uh, so if you want to catch us there, then that would be fantastic. Um, until then, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Bye.